What was he like? Who? Homelander, growing up as a lad, what was he like? I'm sure you don't want to talk about this. Oh, there is nothing I want to talk about more. And who knows better than you? When he was a little boy, five or six, he was quite sweet. He'd cuddle up to me. He'll have stories about Davy Crockett, Teddy Roosevelt. Loved the idea of the woods, the forest, manifest destiny. But you know, I needed him to be the strongest man in the world. So I went to work on him. He didn't even want it. It was for me. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Excellent. The American flag. Baseball's my favorite sport. Favorite sport. Baseball's my favorite sport. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Sure. I can be your mommy. So you love me? I do. And you'll always take care of me? Always. It's okay. We'll take care of her. Just like the others. Uh, today we had another incident. But this time the subject was not driven by anger, but by something else altogether. I told Dr. Vogelbaum that the subject was obviously suffering from isolation-induced depression. fuck do you think you are? What, you think I don't see it? Trying to undermine me, steal my team. Hold on a Let minute. Let me tell you right now, it won't work. I'm the face of the seven, not you. Me. I still score higher on every demo that counts. 18 to 34, 18 to 49, 25 to 54. They all love me. Well, congratulations. I mean, this constant need to be loved by everyone is kind of pathetic, but, um, yay! Condos. So what if I took you to a house you'd never seen before, full of photos of parents you never met, toys you never played with, Hardy Boy books that you never read. And then I asked you how much all that fake fucking bullshit meant to you. How would that make you feel? It was actually my mom who dragged me along to my first Little League practice. And uh, pretty soon after that, I, I just loved the game more than anything else in the world. So every year, she would bake me a birthday cake in the shape of a baseball diamond. And oh, I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. Just like her. Okay. Perfect. So great. You know, Ryan, um, when I was your age, I didn't have many friends either. Mom says being lonely makes you know yourself better. Well, that's not wrong, I suppose. Can I tell you a secret, man to man, you know? My dad and I, we never play catch in the yard with a World Series ball. Truth is, I never had a dad. Or a mom. Wait, you... you didn't? See, sometimes it's hard, Ryan, being superior to every single other person on the planet. It's, it's, 
to isolating. And gods should not have to feel that kind of pain. I love you, son. You say it back. Um, I love you too. This is nice. You're at the top of the food chain. Hey, hey. When we were kids, alone in the bedroom, I got us through it, right? Don't I always? Always. No matter what. No matter what. And now, I'll get us through this. Just as long as you and me stick together. Do you care what a bunch of mud people think? Come on. Tell me the real reason. I want to hear you say it. Say it! I want them to love me. Yahtzee! Only it never seems to work out, does it? Madeline, Maeve, Stormfront, even your own son. So why do you keep running headfirst into the same brick wall? I don't know. Pants on fire, you know. It's because deep down there's a part of you that is still... human. No. Mm, part of you is. Mm. A dirty, shriveled, anemic little part of you that still mules for approval and love and a mommy and a daddy and a oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Look at me, Tiger. Look at me. We gotta cut that part of you out like a cancer. 